Welcome! Right now we're going to be working with the most basic of organic chemistry structures, naming alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Okay, so these are all going to be hydrocarbons. They're just carbons attached to hydrogen. This is really super basic. And the most basic of these is the alkanes. And so these are all single bonds. So examples of alkanes like that, they can be branched. They can be monstrously branched, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the alkanes are going to have an ending that ends in A-N-E, and they're going to have a prefix that denotes the total number of carbons in the longest chain. So I just want to clarify that the longest chain isn't necessarily from left to right. It's the total longest that's available in the molecule of carbon attached to carbon. If there's something in the middle, like an oxygen, that breaks the chain. It's carbon attached to carbon, that's the longest chain. So for this one, the longest chain is really simple. I'm going to highlight that in yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our longest chain is six carbons. Okay. I want to draw this one again really quick so I can show you a couple different things. So they, these two are the same molecule. Okay, so here you might be tempted that this might be the longest chain, but that is not correct. This is only four carbons, but let's see if we can do it better. So what about this chain that's coming down? One, two, three, four, five. That's five carbons. Okay, so which one is correct? Not that one. This one's five carbons. Okay, so I said that you would name the alkanes based on the prefix. Prefix for six is hex. Last part is the A-N-E, and that tells us that this, is, this has all single bonds. So this is called hexane. This one's a little bit trickier because we've got a couple parts that are not part of the long chain. These are called alkyl groups and basically what that means is you still take the prefix but instead of saying A-N-E ending you're going to take ill ending. So this has one carbon so its prefix is meth and instead of having an A-N-E ending it's methyl. And same deal here. This is methyl again. Okay, so to name this branched alkane, what we're also going to have to include is numbers telling us where these methyl groups are on our pentane. So we know that five, like the pentagon, is five sides, pent, pentane, is going to be the main chain. So it's going to be something pentane. Because if this was just pentane, it wouldn't have any of those branches. But it does have branches. So what you want to do is you want to start numbering. We've got to tell the next person where these are. So you want to take the numbering that's closest. You want to start looking at the carbon that's closest to the group. It could have been this carbon, but starting here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting with the purple, you see that the first number is 3 second number is four. Let's see if we go the other way if that would get better. So we're going to do that in um, maybe dark blue. One, two, three, four, five. So going in this blue pattern left to right we see two and three. That's lower than three and four. So the blue wins. So this will be two methyl 3-methyl-pentane, 2-methyl, 3-methyl-pentane. Okay, so those are our alkenes. If there's additions, you got to use numbers, lowest numbers possible. Make sure that you're, you're the longest branch that you're looking at is, in fact, the longest branch. You could probably do this very easily with trial and error. So that's alkanes done. Okay, alkenes. Similar to alkanes, but they have an E and E ending. So we're again we're going to name them with the appropriate prefix depicting the number of carbons. And um 
the alkenes are going to have double bonds, so we're always going to have to include a number with in, um, telling us where that double bond is. Okay, so in this first example, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is hexene, but we've got to figure out where this double bond is, and you always start from, and we're going to do this in purple and blue again, you can start numbering left to right, and we always want to use the lowest number from where it starts. One, two, three. So this would start at three if we started numbering from there. One, two, three. Numbering in the blue, it doesn't matter. It's going to be three hexene no matter what. You could also write it hex three if you prefer, but it's got to have a number telling us where that functional group is. Because if you just say hexene, hexene could be any one of a number of isomers. Five, six, it could be that, it could be that. We don't know. So we have to be specific, and that's what the three tells us. It tells us where it starts. And in this case, it didn't matter. Okay, one more practice problem here, and notice the ene ending, like the alkenes. One more practice problem here, this is one, two, three carbons in our longest chain here. So this is propene, okay? And then for our numbering, if we number from left to right, the lowest number we get is two. If we number from right to left, the lowest number we get is one. Best one is smaller than two, so one wins there. This is, in fact, one propene or prop one ene. All right, give me a second. I'm just going to clear this so we can start working on alkynes. Dokey, just scroll down here. Okay, so we talked about alkanes and alkenes, and next up is alkynes. Takes all kinds to make a world. Okay, so alkynes, these were single, these are double, these are triple bonds, and they're going to have a Y-N-E ending. So these had A-N-E, alkenes had E-N-E, these are Y-N-E. So what that's going to look like, and triple bonds make things linear. Three, four, five, six. It's going to look like that. So, and again, we're going to need numbers indicating where things are. So, if we number left to right, one, two, three. If if we number right to left, one, two, three. It's the same either way. It doesn't matter. They're both equally good because they both give us the same name. Three hexine or Hex-3-ine, okay, 3-hexine, Y-N-E tells us it's a triple bond. Okay, and how about another example? Okay, this has one, two, three, four carbons. I'm going to number those in purple. One, two, three, four carbons. So the other option is it starts at one, two, three, four, one wins. So this would be, in fact, one prefix for, pro for four is bute, one butine, or bute one ine. 